There has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week, I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm gonna explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. How come men can be promiscuous and be glorified for it, and women are shamed, dishonored, and considered a disgrace for having high body count? You can see that she's really paying attention here because the information Andrew Tate is about to drop on these females concerns them all. You can see her look to her left a couple times and if you watch the full live stream, you will know that there are people behind the scenes, behind the camera, probably rubbing their hands together for the onslaught Andrew Tate is going to unleash on these females. Brittany Renner in particular, the most googled man on earth is about to tell her the truth and you can see that this makes her uncomfortable. Look at her face. That's why you need to buckle up. Tell him, Tay, tell him. Go it on, is impossible Sassy. for a female to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself because she is f people she shouldn't be f There is no way she is sleeping with endless men and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either f***ing dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy, she's just too drunk to realize he's a loser plays video games, or she's a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's f***ing dudes, she shouldn't be f***ing. When you devalue yourself, it's kind of like men can smell it on you. Mm. They can just look at a bitch and go, huh. Ugh. This is pure gold. Look at that face. Look at that face. Let Andrew Tate finish. She's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself, and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That we all know women are the gatekeepers of sex. So the moment a woman decides to open her legs, she has deemed the dude that is worthy. It's a woman's job to figure out if a man is serious about committing to her. And she has to do it when her sexual market value is at her peak which is in her early 20s. Her face was priceless when Tate dropped that reverse psychology on her. You decided to open up and give these men access to your punani. Like I've said before, reverse psychology because we've proven many, 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 many times that there are good men out there. Women don't want them. Women don't see them because they want high status men like Andrew Tate. This is why these women always come back. If not, they cry themselves to sleep at night because it's not easy out there. Larsa Pippen cannot get herself another Scotty Pippen. She has proven that she can still ride the hot dog carousel dog. But no high value man is taking her seriously. This is the problem Brittany Renner has. Her promiscuity and disrespectful behavior devalued her to the point she has become damaged goods to the men that she desires. Mind if you're, especially if you're a female, people always say, you know, the number of emails I get from girls will say you don't give enough girl game. I'll give you girl game right now. <laughs> Your man wants status. That's what he wants. You need to find a way to make him look good to the world and to his friends. If, so how do you do that? I'll tell you, one of the ways a man can get status is to get the girl that no one can get. That's a very imp simple way, right? So I said not ready to mingle, I did right. Okay, no, no, but this is the truth, right? If you, if I date a girl, and she's perfect in every way, head to toe. And then I'd say, oh, I've met this girl, yeah, she's this, she's this. Oh yeah, I took her for a date. Even if he didn't fuck her, did you fuck her? No, no, I just went for a date. So you went, the, it, the attraction goes from this to zero, done. And it may not for some men, because some men haven't got choices, but men like me who genuinely have unlimited options. We want complete exclusivity. That's what we're looking for, because that gives status. That's what you're looking for. So you have to be very careful as a female with all of your actions, all of your interactions with your boyfriend or when you're looking for a boyfriend, etc. and say, am I going to make my man look better by doing X or look worse? Simple things. I've had endless arguments about girls' nights out, right? Oh, you're insecure. Da, da, da. It's not about insecure. I don't give a f if no man talks to you all night long. I don't care if you're going out and you're going to an all-girl club. I don't care. I know that when my boys say oh, all the girls are going out and I say, not my girl, she stays home. I look good. That's, that's it. That's she stays home. She doesn't go out. She doesn't want. She doesn't want to go out without me.
That status, it's not about the night out. It's about the status of being the man in the house. That's what a man wants. He wants respect. He wants to be the man of the house. I say she stays home. She stays home. Big G, boom, boom. This is what we want. Can I? This is pure gold because this is exactly what Kevin Samuels was talking about. He was talking about the kind of women. This information is nothing new. I've been here from the beginning of YouTube. Barbarossa's videos are still up, over 10 years old. The Manosphere intellectuals broke it down, referring to Brivol's law and stuff like that, drawing the conclusion that the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Brittany Renner cannot provide any of these things Andrew Tate was talking about. You can see that this stings. It makes her uncomfortable, especially because it's coming from the type of man that she wants. Now listen carefully to what she has to say. So, okay, so I, I'm, a, I'm just gonna, like I said, make it about myself. I'm 30, single, mom. I, my fucking checkered past is all over Instagram. You know what I mean? I, I have people like you, who are, she's a hoe, she's a, she's literally known for this. Okay, so what would, what would be your advice to people like me then? Game over. You didn't play your cards right, and now you have to suffer the consequences. They told you, you can have it all, and you believed it. They told you it's empowering to be promiscuous, and you embraced it. And now, you're looking for empathy? Get the F out of here! Like most of these modern women, Brittany Renner has no empathy for men. That's why she had no problems running a big mouth creating this checkered pass she is now trying to get a pass for. Brittany Renner got humbled, and many, 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 many women will suffer the same fate. So my advice to women like Brittany Renner is to take your L, lower your standards, try to get back with PJ Washington. That's your best chance of getting the kind of man you want. If not, buy a cat, shut the F up, and only come to these platforms if you're willing to help the next crop of women avoid the mistakes you've made.